Okay, here we're going to practice um, doing some mattress sutures. Mattress sutures could be, they're called sometimes horizontal and vertical mattress. I like to call them according to the incision that you're trying to close. So if you're going to take the incision into account, either you're going perpendicular to it or you're going parallel to it. So I would like to classify them as parallel mattress suture or perpendicular mattress suture. So let's try practicing first a perpendicular mattress suture. What you're going to do is I'm going to open up the tissue to see the depth penetration. First suture is further out, the second one is going to be further in. So we're going to take a big bite, about 8 millimeters, and it has to be deep with the same depth. And you pull it out, and then you go in at the same depth, and you come out at a broad area. So first bite is like that. Then you reverse the needle and you get closer to the suture. So you go halfway distance which is about 5 millimeter, 4 to 5 millimeter and you can take one single bite and you come out. Now what you notice this way is that you are perpendicular both bites and both sutures are perpendicular to the incision and then you can tie it right there. What I like to do is I like to add a third level of suturing into this and for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my needle through the loop that I made on the other side and I bring it back. Now when I suture it what I have is if you look at the cross section you have one suture level at the depth, second suture level in the middle and third suture level up on top. So you have three level closure and then you can go ahead and tie it together across. Now this is a perpendicular suture to your cut. So let's undo it. And now what we'll do is we'll do a parallel mattress suture scheme. So this was not only perpendicular but locking perpendicular. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to go ahead and take a bite about four or five millimeter away and you come across to the other side. This is the first cut, first bite and first thread. Then what you do is you go ahead and you go parallel to it and you come, it's normally you would come and tie this and you go across. But we're going to go a few millimeters away, about five millimeters away and you come up and you come across. Now if I were to do this and pull together and tie right here you have one suture right here, one suture right there and when you see inside you don't have them tiered up on top of each other but right next to each other. They're also running parallel to each other but these are called parallel mattress sutures because what you see on the outside is running parallel to the cutting line. What I would like to do at this point, sometimes I would go in and I also would lock this in. Either you can go with a tip, fine tip, to lock it or you can use the back of the suture that way you don't tear into the tissue. And you pull across just like that. And now you have tied this suture. So what you have accomplished is made an X. Parallel plus locking. So that's a modification of parallel locking and perpendicular locking sutures.